possibly some tornadoes. We definitely have heavy rain falling in Wake County and uh, up north or up toward Granville County, but uh, we are not under any severe thunderstorm warnings in the Triangle area right now. That is definitely good news. We'll go in and uh, take a look and sort of just to kind of reconfirm that um, there's really nothing showing up here on the velocity that would indicate All right. that we have. Well, 10 um, minutes ago, you know, anything the station I'm listening of, to. Um, had a, tornado a that's developing. storm but, tracker yeah, van we parked right strong winds. We're there. Very heavy rain falling at, uh, at this time. And so just doing a report. They were there about 10 minutes ago. So at all right now with all of this coming through. When you got a storm we'll tracker vehicle right in your neighborhood, and, that's never a good you know, sign. We're looking at the back edge of it. So let's go in a little more closely and talk about some of these communities. Some of this is a fairly rural area, but Campus Crossroads, over toward Bones Ford, you're going to start to see this van moving through, which has the potential to produce some wind damage, trees to fall on houses. All right, well, you get the general gist of what's going on this morning. It's been an interesting morning so far. Uh, woke up at 6 a.m. this morning, scheduled to work at 7, uh, and immediately after waking up, we started getting tornado warnings uh, for our area. Turned on the television and saw that pretty much as these warnings were coming to me, uh, there was a tornado warning essentially right in the area where my store is located, uh, about 30 miles to our west. And then shortly after that, we started seeing tornado warnings of a tornado that was in Siler City which is about, uh, I don't know, 40, 50 miles to our southwest. Maybe a little less than that. But everything was traveling in a northeasterly uh, direction, so the, that one in Siler City was um, definitely a scary one for us. Uh, because the, the local news, we were watching the local news and they were showing uh, debris fields on their radar in that one that was heading in our direction. And as we watched, it continued to get closer and closer and closer. And as it got closer, the they almost have like, like hurricanes do, a cone of uncertainty kind of thing. Um, that cone kept getting smaller and smaller and we were still in its path. Ooh, we got a couple hydroplaners here. So, that thing basically was on a beeline straight for our neighborhood and it was showing debris fields. The radar was picking up debris, which means there was a tornado on the ground southwest of us heading northeast heading directly for our neighborhood so we ended up having to for the first time since we've moved down here we ended up having to prepare to get into our um, in our house our half bathroom on the downstairs level is is the safest interior room in our house in terms of tornado protection and um, we ended up having to prepare to get into that space. We, we got so far as shutting down all the computers, um, getting fully dressed, shoes and all, putting leashes on the dogs. And we even got as far as uh, Jen and the kids getting into the bathroom as that thing got only a couple of minutes out. And then miraculously, that tornado essentially dissipated and stopped spinning. And we ended up getting a little bit of wind from it as it passed over us, but no tornado. So, and it was about 10 minutes after that that we saw the, the storm tracker uh, from our local TV station, the station I was just listening to. That storm tracker showed up just outside our neighborhood. So. I definitely feel like we dodged a bullet this morning. So now, an hour late, I'm heading into work. For the first time uh, in several weeks, I'm seeing 
not normal amount of traffic, but there's definitely uh, a lot more traffic on the road. This is obviously Monday after Easter. There's definitely a lot more traffic than usual out. So I hope people don't let their guard down because the news isn't talking about coronavirus this morning. All they're talking about is this line of storms that just came through. And the line was moving uh, northeast at about 60 miles an hour is what they were saying. And um, so I'm heading west. So I'm actually heading away from the storm. So the weather is actually improving the further away from my house I get. As you can see by the, um, my wipers are actually not running as often. I've got automatic wipers, so they, they run when they need to and they stop when they don't. But there were two tornadoes basically running about 10 to 15 miles apart earlier. Uh, the one that was headed straight for us lifted just before it got to Hillsboro, which is the town we live in. And the other one was uh, over in this area. They said there were, there were um, damage reports in a town called Mebin, which is to our west. And I'm passing through Mebin right now, so it'll be interesting to see. Hopefully there's no injuries or deaths associated with this, but it'll be interested to see if I run through a debris field here on the highway. So I'm going to keep the camera running. I'm going to stop talking for a bit. But I'm going to keep the camera running as I go through Mebbin to see if there's any damage reports or see if I see any damage on, on camera. Now they're telling us once that line moves through that that's the worst that it will get and anything that pops up between now and then will be um, just regular thunderstorm activity with maybe some straight line winds. but. The tornado outbreak that we got this morning is pretty much associated with a strong line that went from uh, northeast to southwest, and that line actually passed through our town about an hour ago. So these dark clouds you see here don't have a history of producing tornadoes, but it just could be the next wave of thunderstorms. So talking about work for a bit, um, I've got... 35 hours in for this week. The week ends uh, tomorrow is the last day. Tuesday is the last day of our fiscal and our work week. Our weeks in our business generally go from Wednesday to Tuesday. So I've got 35 hours in already. And as of Sunday, they were saying that they don't want anybody getting any overtime. If that holds true, I've only got about five hours left to work when I get in today. And it appears I'll be getting there right about 8 a.m. So it may be a short day for me. It may be not. If they if they approve me working uh, probably up to three hours of overtime if I work a full eight-hour shift. I'm scheduled till 5. So if I work all the way to 5, it'll be um, three hours of overtime. But I'm expecting that I'll just go in. Uh, I'll work a truck. My frozen truck didn't arrive yesterday till 5 p.m. Right before I left. So that's still sitting in there waiting for me. We we're supposed to get another one today. I'm not sure when that one will show up. If it, if it has or if it hasn't already showed up. And then I have to write an order for a truck that will arrive on Wednesday. So that's the least amount of work that I got to get done today. So far I've only seen one tree down and it's a big tree at the edge of a field that has just been recently been uh, cleared to make way for development. But it, it's way off the road. It was way off the road, not anywhere near the road affecting this, uh, this road. So that's the only tree I've seen so far. And Lena mentioned power outages. We're going to see huge impacts from the system, um, damaging winds, heavy rain, hail, and of course, the possibility of tornadoes. Let's send it over to Casey Cunningham, uh, who is outside the WRL storm tracker right now in Hillsboro to show us what's going on there, Casey. 
Hey, we are up right now. So um, we just popped out of the car here. Sorry for this quick transition, but I really wanted to show you what's going on over here off Highway 86. A lot of trees and debris down. Uh, if you look over here behind me, you can see what appears to be a pole snapped in half. This is what uh, some of the debris we ran over a little earlier here on 86 near Hillsboro. Of course, this is where uh, in the area where a tornado was down. Take, take a look at this. So I'm actually going to step back because I can see part so of the So she's about... Good news is less than 10 miles away from my house, the southwest of where we are, right where that tornado to the stopped spinning. So we're seeing about 86 people without, or 86 customers without power here in this area. So this is something we're seeing as we're driving. It's very the rural in that area where she is. Debris on the road, of course, this line here uh, behind us. We do not see any crews out here yet. Any crews from uh, Duke Power, we did call first responders to report this behind us. So luckily it's been cleared from the road, but for now we're not seeing any Duke crews. So uh, we'll keep you posted when we are f uh, finding out some more about power outages in this area. 86 people or 86 customers without power according to the Duke maps. We're seeing a lot of cars kind of speed by here. So if you're headed out on the road, take your time because uh, the, the storm is moving to the northeast at 50 miles per hour. And you can clearly see that we do have some uh, couplets showing up there on the radar velocity. This is just to the south and east of Henderson, moving to the north and east. And uh, in Norlina, you need to be in your safe place right now. Anyone basically to the north and east of Henderson needs to be in the central part of their home uh, as a tornado warning has just been issued for your That's area. That's north and east of us. Uh, again, we are seeing a little bit of a couplet here just to the south of Henderson as it moves to the north and east. Made it to work, no major damage. The early reports I saw, uh, they were showing a tornado in this area as well. And it looks like it may have passed further west than where this store is. I'm, I'm seeing a lot of leaves and stuff down. So I think if I were to continue driving west, I would run into some sort of debris field. But um, this store was spared, which is good because the store is under construction and that could really make a mess. So... I'm at work, so let's go inside and see what we got to deal with. All right, well, I'll turn the camera back on uh, on my way home tonight. We'll talk about uh, everything else that happens between now and then. Well, good afternoon. It was an interesting day today. Um, we um, had a closed department today. Much to the chagrin of a few of our customers, some a little bit more perturbed than others, some downright pissed. Uh, even though we did everything we could to accommodate them, um, we still had some upset customers, so they'll get over it. And um, we'll be reopening for good at some point on Wednesday afternoon. We had no further weather issues since I got to work this morning, outside of the adventure we had this morning. Um, traffic has picked up a lot today, I've noticed. I think people are getting sick and tired of being in their house waiting this virus out. People are going out and about. I would imagine at some point they're going to start reopening some businesses here soon. I know our president is very anxious to make that happen. He wanted it done by yesterday, but uh, I don't see how that's still a good idea. But anyway, yeah, it turned out to be a nice afternoon. It's according to my... car thermometer it's 81 now so that front came through it was in the 60s this morning and it jumped up so uh, that front came through seemed to be a warm front but it's typical tornado like spring weather where you basically have the cold air from up north colliding with the warm air down south and them essentially having a battle for territory. That's what essentially causes most tornadoes. We just happened to be caught in the middle and kind of dodged a bullet this morning. 
looking at some of the research and the um, data from this morning's storms, it looks like the tornado that was headed in our direction and fizzled out just before it got to our neighborhood reformed about 20 miles northeast of us and continued on so we truly did dodge a bullet it looks as though though looking at the damage reports that had it continued through our area it might have just missed our neighborhood and hit that area between our neighborhood and downtown Hillsboro just kind of go there so I've got some footage to peruse through because the time-lapse of today will, is going to be quite interesting and the time-lapse from yesterday so when I get home tonight I need to pull off the memory cards from my dash cam and save the time-lapse footage and add it to the vlog so with that we're gonna end it for now probably gonna take the dog for a walk tonight because we uh, leashed her up this morning in anticipation of a possible direct hit by a tornado. So she thought she was going for a walk and was excited and got really disappointed when uh, we didn't ultimately go. So I'll probably give her a walk tonight for sure and then we'll, um, we'll talk more on later tonight. So we'll add that to the end of this video as well so with that I'll go ahead and end this one and uh, we'll see you in a bit